I am reviewing the movie Real Bad Arabs, released in 2006. Real Bad Arabs is a documentary showcasing how, and a little bit of why, Arabs are portrayed poorly in the Hollywood not just today, but for the past many, many years. This film is based on the book of the same name by Dr. Jack Shaheen, a writer and lecturer specializing in addressing racial and ethnic stereotypes, and goes on to talk about many examples of poor Arab portrayal in Hollywood movies for the last several decades. The narrator in this movie does a lot to plead with the audience about how we can change our stereotypes as well as recognize ones we already have. The movie starts off with powerful, attention-grabbing speech, stating that Arabs are portrayed as subhumans in movies today, and goes on to talk about the hateful Arab stereotypes. Shaheen states that these stereotypes rob an entire people of their humanity, and that all aspects of our culture project the Arab as villain. Stereotyping in the book is defined as a complex form of categorization that mentally organizes your experiences with and guides your behavior towards a particular group of people. But it has also been defined as a cognitive structure containing the perceiver's knowledge, beliefs, and expectancy about some human social groups. In addition, the book also says that, like culture, stereotypes are learned. We see the beginning of that in the movie when it is explained that we inherit the Arab image primarily from Europeans that went and embellished these photos based on, you guessed it, stereotypes. It isn't helpful that the myths and stereotypes from our everyday real life are also portrayed in the cinema. One of the points the movie makes is that yesterday's Arab land is today's Arab land. Our negative ideas have not changed much, if at all, over the course of Hollywood. Even Aladdin recycled every degrading stereotype of Arabs ever. Shaheen says that the Arab is one-dimensional caricatures, cartoon cutouts used by filmmakers as stock villains and as a comic relief. They are portrayed as buffoons and are often inept. It is almost as if there are three different type of Arab villains to choose from and each comes with an eerily similar script. To illustrate his point, Shaheen then lists almost every movie he can find that portrays Arabs in a, in a negative light. I believe that this was a good thing to have examples of because once pointed out, I began to think of more movies that were portrayed characters, caricatures of evil Arabs that I never used to bat an eyelash out. Shaheen lists, lists at least 17 movies, including Father of the Bride 2, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and The Mummy, where Arabs are incorrectly portrayed as stupid, over-the-top villains just there for comic break. Another point Shaheen makes in Real Bad Arabs is that politics and Hollywood's images are linked. They reinforce one another. Mythical images help enforce policy just as policy enforces mythical images. Shaheen states a quote from Jack Valenti, an American political advisor and lobbyist, that Washington and Hollywood spring from the same DNA. Like stated before, we are always seeing our political myths and agendas mirrored in the movies. Hollywood thrives on making movies embellishing any crisis with any Middle Eastern country. And not just Hollywood, but the news media as well. There have been quotes such as, this has Middle Eastern written all over it. It was done with the intent to cause as many casualties as possible when reporting on what would appear to be a terrorist attack in the news. This clearly suggests that all Arabs innately are moving with the intent to do as much damage as possible at all times. Shaheen even says that Islamophobia is now a part of our psyche. Words such as Arab and Muslim are perceived as threatening, and if the words are threatening, what about the images that we see on our television screens? How are people supposed to balance any pre-existing prejudices against Arabs when they are constantly faced with on-screen images that reinforce what they already think to be true? Alternatively, Shaheen asks, what do Arabs think of us that see these movies? Because these movies are all 25 cent American each, movies showing us killing them, what do they walk away with? Does this bring us closer together? Does this advance peace or does it separate us? These questions are all valid and further illustrated by the fact that we rarely see humanizing moments of Arabs in the cinema. The textbook explains that these mis misconceptions can become the source of numerous and quite serious problems when brought into intercultural interaction. By allowing us to only accept information consistent with what we already think to be true, we allow these misconceptions to stand in the way of effective intercultural communications. This movie, though at times was just a collection of examples of bad movies, also does a good job of pointing out exactly where Hollywood goes wrong in portraying Arab characters. In addition, Shaheen makes an effort to call for change in Hollywood, and is a future hope that moving forward, new young filmmakers will do better than past ones have with cultural sensitivity to all cultures. I found Real Bad Arabs to be informative and eye-opening, and thankful to have watched it so I can go forward more sensitively and aware.